Hey, welcome to Performance Reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the One Power Evolve cordless, kind of upright, it's hard to call it an upright. It's, it's a quick vacuum. Um, and if you're watching this, you've probably lost suction or something's not working right. So I'm going to go over the basic maintenance tips to look for that you can do yourself. Now, this product does carry a warranty, and I'll try to include a link below but definitely I'll at least include the 1-800 number to call Hoover that if you have problems under warranty, you really need to take it to your Hoover Authorized Service Center and they'll take care of you. They might even send you a part in the mail. They do that sometimes as well, but basically you want to bring it to your authorized professional. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you a lot of good little tips. Um, so the first thing we're going to have to do is empty the cyclone. It gets quite nasty and you want to do this outside. Never do this inside. It is way too dusty. Okay, so after you empty it out, it's still going to be kind of dirty inside. So, the cyclone comes apart. Again, you want to be outside or somewhere well ventilated, like my shop. Um, you want to just take it apart. That just gets stuck uh, over time. Now, if you're unaware, it doesn't have any hand tools, so you probably have some sort of hand vac if you own one of these. So, you want to do that. I'm going to use my central vacuum. But whatever your primary vacuum is. And if this is your only vacuum, you're doing it wrong. Just gonna straight up. So after you break it apart, you'll notice there's some filters here. You'll want to vacuum these out and then throw them in a laundry bag or something in the washing machine. Uh, the cyclone itself, while loose, doesn't have any sort of quick release mechanism on here. You can remove these screws if it's really bad, which we're going to do in the case of this machine. I'm just going to pull this apart, show you what's inside, what lives inside here. Now this unit I've only used for about a month, a little under a month in my house. Um, so it's not going to be particularly bad, but after a little while these will get pretty bad. Um, so we can see just what's in here. You can see kind of the lack of there's a gasket, you want to set that aside. Then just this basic cyclone. So we'll be uh, putting these all in the dishwasher to wash them. Spoiler alert, I've done that before and it doesn't hurt anything. Uh, if you have a Bosch or a Mila style dishwasher where it has the inline heater, there's a few others out there that do that. So that's what you can do with the cyclone and filters. Now another place you want to check is this gasket right here can get bent. It's way too flexible for what it is. Um, you just want to clean this off real quick. Clean all the dirt off that you can. And then what you want to do is a little bit of furniture polish will help preserve this gasket and make a better seal. That's real important if you're in a dry climate like me. Um, next thing you do, you can always change to your other battery if it's giving you any problems as well. So going on to the lower part of the machine, like so. We have this, and this this guy is just so stiff. Um, so this hose, you want to check this for any blockages. And again, having a central vacuum or powerful canister vacuum around will make a big difference in cleaning that out properly. That took that object, so I know it's clear. You can use a laundry sheet, you can use a little bit of toilet paper, you can use a coin, anything down here just to make sure it's nice and clean. This again, same sort of thing. Just want to wipe this off, make sure it is nice and clean as well on there. Um, the wire here is normal for that to be there. I don't know what, why they did that. So we're going to connect that as well. Now, taking the brush roller out, just give it kind of a half turn, I'll show that again. Just do that with your thumb. If for some reason you break this off, 
You can use a coin. You can use a very large screwdriver. This is a number six. If you don't know what a number six screwdriver is, go find yourself a coin. Um, anyways, it does have a slot there for that. And again, same sort of thing. We're going to take the end caps off, vacuum them up, and clean them up. Same there with uh, the inside of the brush roller chamber. Now this one I did not too long ago. There is a line here you can cut uh, hair off as well. So that's nice. Again, we're just going to clean with a rag in here. No reason to take it apart really any farther than, it, than I have. Uh, they don't really make a lot of these internal parts, so it's kind of silly to go any farther than this. Um, so to show you, there's this shelf in here where stuff will get caught. You'll need to take, giving away the pro secret here, screwdriver, just with the rag. I just go in there and clean that out, like so. So, real easy to do. Make sure this is nice and clean, hair free, which mine is. Um, and again, if it's really looks foggy, you can polish it up with a little furniture polish. Uh, will help, but that will attract more dust, so just be aware of that as well. That's pretty much it. Now, if you need to change the handle, you can take the object, put it in there, and the handle will come off as well. So that's how you change the handle on this particular unit. Well, the dishwasher has finished. Well, that looks a lot cleaner and nice. So, yes, you can put that in the dishwasher. Let's see uh, how this did. Except for a little bit of fuzziness, it looks pretty much intact to me. So let's let that air dry. We're going to start putting things back together after they've been in the dishwasher. This end cap does not go in the dishwasher. The brush roller is dishwasher top rack safe. So we just put that in, give it a half twist, and there you go. She's in place, and that looks fantastic. Let's put together the cyclone assembly which is only held together with four screws. Um, could be cleaner. So we're gonna just wipe some stuff down with some furniture polish uh, real quick. And if you have trouble getting in some of these spaces, the screwdriver will be your friend uh, for that. Excellent, see how much cleaner that looks. Um, same right there. So that looks a lot better. Um, this gasket came off in the dishwasher and I have a feeling it's going to be a bit of a hassle. Um, there are no real reference points other than these little four things have, have to line up with that. Uh, so those notches just have to be lined up. Again, it's, there's no side preference on this and there's no shroud on one side or blockage like there is on a lot of other cyclones, unfortunately. Um, which allows stuff to just kind of fly willy-nilly into it. So I've taken a little bit of Super 77. And I've just sprayed it on the edge. I had to do that over a trash can. So now, when we put this on, we're going to start pushing the gasket onto that. And Super 77 is a flexible adhesive, so it will allow the vacuum to expand and contract properly. But it will also uh, hold everything in place nicely for us. Uh, anybody who's done a sanitary gasket knows exactly this struggle. You want to try not to get any of that Super 77 on your hands because then it just makes your hands sticky. It makes everything hard to work with. Of course, I have gotten it on my hands and my hands are now sticky and horrible. But you 
can see that gasket is just starting to stay in place now. Hopefully I won't get the struggle that I was getting before. And this can be the problem with putting things like this in the dishwasher or disassembling them. It has actually changed shape. So we'll actually cut it and pull out some extra there. And it got a little stretched out in the dishwasher. That's okay. Beats scrubbing this any other way. So now you see the gasket is on there, how it should. Alright, with that done, Super 77 also got my hands, that was nasty, so I went and washed them. Now I can just put this back together. Um, and when you put this back together, you notice the lid uh, is supposed to line up with this, but again, there's no real way it goes or anything special. There's no, uh, no cues to line it up other than the four screws. So that's a little different than previous Hoover products. And just like anything else with the torquing pattern, and as I'm putting this back together, I'm also making sure uh, this thing is kind of somewhat lined up how it's supposed to go. So that's now lined up and back together. What we're going to do now is take some denatured alcohol to the edge, just make sure that there's no leftover Super 77 on there. Or whatever solvent you want, you can use WD-40 too. But it's just important to clean up your work when you're done with it. And it does not want to come off. A little bit of elbow grease will solve that. All right. Now that that's off, again, to preserve the gaskets, a little bit of pledge afterwards will make a big difference as well. Also, on the inside of this, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pledge the rubber gaskets, and we're also going to pledge the cyclone in this case, which will kind of make it look real good and nice and new, make it a little bit clearer as well. So let's put the cyclone back in, which adds some shape. And now that shuts eh, how it should. Next thing we have to put this lid on, which you see there's just some convenient tabs right there makes putting the lid on real easy. Like so. And next are the filters. And here's what I have to say about the filters. These have been washed three times. They're already starting to get degraded and stuff. So I would say every six months to a year, replace your filter. All right, well, that's as good as that's gonna be. Um, the white side goes there, the coarse side goes towards the cyclone, and there we go. That is our cyclone assembly, which then we'll just snap right on here. If I would line everything up, that would be... There we go. And that is how we do that. Let's put the battery on there and test it turns on. Okay. 
Excellent. Well, thanks for watching our Hoover video. Uh, we appreciate your subscription. Appreciate you liking, sharing these sort of videos. It helps us out a whole lot uh, when you do that. Um, if you really like what we're doing, go check out our Patreon below where you can donate to support videos like that. Uh, we also have a link to commonly used vacuum items on Amazon below, which is another great way to support the channel. Have a great day.